Well, good morning, and it's Friday. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yay. It's Friday. Another weekend on its way. Yes. And today we get to hear another promise because of Christmas. And it's the promise of peace. Yeah. Peace is an incredible word. In fact, it means a state of wholeness and harmony. And it means to be complete, to be sound, to be whole, tranquil, secure. And well, doesn't that sound great in yeah. this time that we're living in? Just to That's feel that way and be that way. What a great place to be in. Oh, great. Yeah. So surrounding the birth of Jesus, um, you know, we see that Jesus came to bring us peace in a world where we don't really have much peace. And I'm going to read some scriptures to you. The first one is a prophecy about the birth of Jesus. And it's in Isaiah. We actually read it um, last Monday, yes. Isaiah, 6, Isaiah 9, verse 6 and 7. It says, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And uh, there's quite a number of prophecies in this in the Bible about the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Whenever you read one, um, you know, even the angels' announcements of the birth of Jesus, um, yeah. it, all these prophecies had the theme of peace um, yes. in, in the prophecy. Yes, and the reason and that... The waffling, the waffling. No, you're not waffling, okay. that's fine. It's but, about peace. but can I have a yeah. turn? Please, can it be my turn now? Okay. The reason that... <laughs> okay. Peace. The reason for this peace, peace, yeah, uh, is because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the source of peace. And really without Him, we cannot truly have peace. And that's the bottom line. Um, do you notice how that when we trust in the Lord, even through the hardest of times, we often look around and we think, why are we still at peace in this difficult time? And it's simply because it's a promise that Jesus has given us. It's a promise that God made that when He sent His Son Jesus, that we would have peace. Right, right. Yeah. So, the next scripture is in Luke 2, verse 8. And it's about eight. the shepherds. Yes, yes, the shepherds, yeah. So, um, Luke 2, verse 8 says, turn 8 and 9. <laughs> that night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. Then dropping down to verse 13, it says, Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and here's the key, peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Mm. You know, God sent His Son, who is a source of peace, and His peace is upon those whom God is pleased with. Yes, so is God pleased with you? I hope so. Are you at I, peace? Hope I love my life to please God, yeah. yeah. So this basically means yeah. that if we're living for Him, we become vessels of that peace. That gift that's been given to us becomes a gift once again that we can give to others. And so we carry this peace with us. And wherever we go, people should feel this peace. They should say, why are you so calm in all of this? Why is yeah. it so different for you? And it's simply because this peace has come. And so here's another Great promise. Peace. Great testament, a great promise that we can hold on to in the middle of whatever we're going through, the turmoil, the fighting, the friction, the disharmony, whatever you want to say, whatever word you want to use, we have this peace and it's a gift that we can give to others. So maybe you're going to find someone this weekend who's yeah. at war with somebody else or would walk, go into that within situation. Within themselves, that's most yeah. of the, like when we're not at peace within ourselves, it's, yeah. And go and such. share this peace that we have to give. That's the best gift. Yes. Love and Wonderful. peace. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And we'll be back on Monday, but hope to see you at church on Sunday. Yes, see you at church uh, on Sunday. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.